There are about five landscapes attributed to Rembrandt today. Here Rembrandt is doing what he did in the Jeremiah painting we saw earlier, but with incredible refinement. What I'm referring to is, of course, those threatening clouds looming over the landscape there in the top right-hand corner. Look, he's used the back of his brush to scratch into the wet paint and scoop it around, revealing the reddy brown underneath. And this produces an incredibly beautiful effect, very modern, very similar actually to what the Impressionists were doing in the late 19th, early 20th century. The other thing that's so beautiful and done with such refinement is the light that falls on the middle of the bridge. If you take a few steps back, you'll see the dramatic effect it has on the landscape. It's truly amazing, isn't it? No one really knows where this is. It could be the River Amstel. You know, Rembrandt often left the city, sometimes for the entire day, to sketch by the Amstel. He sketched everything he saw on the way. He had a huge arsenal of images in his head, of course, and he used those in his work. That play between light and dark, the refinement in those leaves on the trees in the middle with the light falling onto them, it produces a very dramatic effect, almost a biblical effect. The light effects are almost, well, cinematic. It may be interesting to know that Barbara Streisand once told me when I was doing a movie with her, The, the Prince of Tides, that she spent days in the Rijksmuseum to study Rembrandt's use of light before directing the film Jentel. And the cameraman John Seal was so fascinated by the way the 17th century painters used light that he also came here and spent a long time studying Vermeer and he used that slightly cold light in the film Witness. Now there may be a few details in this painting that have escaped you. On the left, for instance, there's a couple. You see a man and a woman in a cart drawn by an ox or a horse. You can't see it very clearly. Following a little way behind them is a man who just catches the light. And there are two little boats. And on the right of the painting, between the lighter trees and the church tower, in the distance, you see, is a man with an ox or a cow. It's so incredibly beautiful. And if you look closely at the painting, almost <laughs> takes on the form of an adventure trail or a treasure hunt, because you have to get every detail. Every detail is important. But when you then take a couple of steps back from it, you begin to see the dramatic effect.